Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. Somebody had asked me to demonstrate the shortcut to calculating the number of days of accrued interest. First thing I would tell you is the shortcut only works for corporates and munis, does not work for uh, guppies. And it's more likely, low probability, you're actually going to have to do this. I haven't had anybody on debrief say they had to calculate number of days for a lot, quite a while. Test prep vendors torment you with it. But uh, on the actual test, mainly recognition of T plus one, 33, or excuse me, T plus two for corporates and munis, T plus one for guppies. And guppies use actual calendars, whereas corporates and munis, 30, 30 days. Okay, so here's the demonstration of the shortcut. Uh, let's suppose we're being asked about a J and J bond. You should know that pays interest January 1st and July 1st. The trade date is Tuesday, June 18th. You should definitely know that the buyer owes the seller the number of days of accrued interest, right? Because the buyer is getting a check on July 1st, and that represents the entire six-month time frame. And the buyer was not an owner of the entire time frame. The seller owned the bonds for Jan all of January, all of July, or excuse me, all of February, all of March, all of April, all of May, and um, the better part of June. So, uh, so if you want to use a shortcut, here's how you do it. Whoop. You're going to take the settlement date, which in this case is T plus two. Now, be careful. RTFQ, read the full question. You know, make sure you're reading correctly, whether they're giving you the trade date. Or sometimes they might say for settlement, they give you the settlement date. So just be careful on that. This is a trade date of Tuesday, June 18th. So if you're going to use the shortcut, remember, you calculate up to, but not including settlement. But in the shortcut, you're actually going to use the settlement date. And what we're going to do is subtract the last interest payment date. And so here, the settlement date, is going to be uh, June, right? June is the sixth month of the calendar. That's where I'm getting the six. And it's settled on the 20th, Wednesday, Thursday. And what we're going to do is going to subtract the last interest payment date. And so in this case, the last interest payment date was January 1st. That's one. January is the first month of the year. January 1st, one, one. And when we do that, we get, uh, can't help you with this part, one from 20 is 19 and one from a six is five. So it's five months and 19 days. Each of those months, remember, is 30 days. So the answer to this question would be 169 days. So there you go with the uh, shortcut. Uh, I would remember from grade school, if you need to borrow, <laughs> right? so if you need to borrow uh, from that six, it's going to be a 30 month kind of a situation. Like I say, not a big deal. Don't mind showing it to you. But uh, again, uh, I think it's a low probability you're going to actually, on the actual test, I'm not talking about practice questions, calculate the number of days of accrued interest. Definitely make sure you get all the recognition questions that uh, corporate meetings are T plus two, use 30-day calendars, the accrued interest is paid by the buyer to the seller, gubbies are goofy, T plus one, use an actual calendar. Okay, I'll see you for the next uh, explication request, whenever that may be.